We have now set the wood glue. We will now put the screws in. And a, a little bit of the wood glue comes out, it's okay. I now have this side completed. You are going to do the same steps with the other three sides. I have applied the glue. And we are now going to follow the same steps as we did on the first side. We're going to press them together. I am applying the glue to the opposite side. We are now going to flip it around. And attach it. We are now going to install the upper port portion of the coop and you will need the F screws. And how you do that is you're just going to slide it, slide it down and make sure that it fits correctly. You can then add wood glue if you'd like. And then as you see, there are the screw holes for the F screws. Now that we know that it fits correctly, we're gonna put wood glue on the top. And we've applied glue to the front. And then you're just gonna set it in the grooves. going to do the back portion. We have now put the main portion of the coop together. Just make sure before you put the back on that you put the support board in. And we are now going to put the tray into the coop. We are now going to install the run 
And before you do that, you want to take the handle off and we will put that back on later. You're also going to put on the ramp, which goes inside. We now have the run together. We, go, we are going to apply glue to the top. We will then put the roof on and you're going to secure this with screws. We are now putting on the sides of the nesting box. You want to use the B bolts. And then you will also apply the nut. And use the Phillips to tighten. And we have now installed one side, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We are now going to put the side of the nesting box together. You will need four bolts. We are now installing the bottom this piece will go into the grooves you are then take these pieces and slide these into the two grooves Once you have put your dividers in, you will need to install your roof. You will now unscrew the stalls. And as you can see, you can lift the top of your nesting box. We have now installed the latch. We are now going to install the roof. You just need to set them in the grooves. You're going to put your center cap on it. And then the rooster bars. You are also going to make sure that you install the screws here, 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 and on the same side. Now that you have assembled your chicken coop, you can put a water sealer on, which is recommended. You could also change the stain if you'd like to, to match the color of your house. What I would like to mention is that you would want to wait until the glue is completely dry and when you put the stain on or the water stiller, make sure you keep the chickens out until it is completely dry. I'm now going to show you the features. You have an access door for the vent. For the nesting box, there is an access to lock it. We also installed a latch to keep you from smashing your fingers. 
have a tray that's easily pulled in and out. We have a remote handle that opens the door. Let your chickens out, and at night you can close it back. We have a door with the window so you can access your chicken easier. We also have two access doors, one here and one here. And as you can see, there is a chicken wire divider. You could remove that if you wanted to, or you could for a bigger run, or you could leave it in case you have a breakfast chicken.